what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel um so a couple of weeks ago i came out to this place right here which was a banded fish camp uh me and my buddy brian which actually gave me access to this place um he brought me out here and we actually we just crushed them that day so today we're gonna go out here and try to get on some bigger fish so we caught a bunch of smaller ones last time caught one good one so we know there's some good ones in here we just got to figure them out so that's what we're gonna do today just go after some big fish um at this fish camp if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button if you guys want to check out the video where i was out here before i'll have a link down in the description go check it out let me know what you think and uh other than that let's get into it it's a little cool this morning guys in the low 60s might be on for some top water last time we came out we could not buy a top water bite but today's a different story Rock and loaded baby well look at this beautiful day morning and beautiful spot got a good feeling today mr ryan we're gonna try the old top water. Starting off with this patroller from Mock. Oh, there we go. There we go. As soon as I paused it, he crushed it. That's a good sign. Yeah, top water, baby. Last time we couldn't get a sniff on it, so feels good to get one on the top water, guys. Even though he's not a humongous fish or anything, but. Just the, the blow ups early in the morning on a beautiful morning like this makes it that much more exciting. I know, I know, I said top water, but can't really throw a top water right here, so. I'm gonna throw a spinning bait real quick. Look at that, as soon as it hit the water. Oh, there we go, that got a head on him. I think spinnerbait is going to do really good today. I just have a feeling it's that time of the year where they start eating and feeding. So I think it's going to do really good, especially off some of these deeper points. Oh, there he is. There he is. A little bit longer. They're growing, they're growing. Oh, you ate the front of it. Crazy. So, I noticed... Let me get this off and I'll show you guys. There we go. Not a bad one. So I noticed both... Two of the fish that I've caught were off of bushes on this rock wall. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. See this, bu this overhang bush? There was one on the other side where I started fishing. That's exactly where the other fish was as well. Um, I know last time we came out here, it was a whole different ball game then because it was really hot, but um, that's where they were hiding in the same exact spot. So I kind of think there's probably something, something to that. There he is, guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. He ain't bad. He ain't bad. I'll take him. I'll take him. There we go. There we go, guys. <laughs> a little bit bigger than them. I'm noticing they're a little bit bigger than the ones we were catching last time out here. The last time, they were, we were catching a ton of them, but some of them were really small. Time to break out my specialty. Good old jig. I'm throwing it. I'm going to throw this 3 8 ounce. Just a simple old Walmart jig with a little crawl on the back of it there's a ton of cover i mean just wood everywhere so technically we should get a bite here or there not promising anything but there's a bite already yep first cast with it guys the old jig jig special out what are you having for breakfast this morning? Oh, I'll take a jig with, uh, I'll take some peanut butter jelly jig, please. Pair it up with a crawl. And you get this guy. I got the face mask and the shades on. I'm ready for war now.
There he is. There he is. I told you I was ready for work. Had to take a break, huh? Yeah, I had to get situated. I switched over to the, man, it's crazy. I'll tell you why. There we go, guys. That's the Joker's fat. So this is the one I was catching them on last time when we came out here. I was throwing one almost identical, but a tad bit smaller. And they wouldn't touch it. First cast with this one. It's crazy. I think the one I'm using is a similar color. I went I switched over to a bigger size and they freaking crush it right away, but the smaller one they wouldn't touch. Which I would think it'd be the opposite. Sometimes you gotta go with the old guts. So I'm telling me, work this point with the spinner bait. There we go. All right. I made multiple casts through there too. Something just kept telling me, keep going, keep going. That paid off. Well, guys, I'm gonna. I'm right here by the boat ramp. I'm gonna flip these docks, throw spinner baits, jigs, Texas rigs, and I'm just gonna work the heck out of these docks. Um, I know there's fish there. Hopefully we can get a good one before we leave, but this is this is where I'll finish off the video, flipping these docks and try to get a few more catches for you guys on film. And like I said, hopefully a good one. What I'm probably gonna do, go down them, throw in one bait, come back at throwing a different bait, go back around the other side, do the, op the same thing. Just hopefully, um, see if we can get on some. Sometimes when you throw like a spinner bait or something like that in these docks, you'll get you'll get bit on that initial downfall. So what I like to do is I like to kind of like throw my spinner bait in there and get some moving bait, especially a spinner bait. That's what I'm throwing. That's what I'll talk about. Um, I'll throw it down in there, get it as close to the end of the dock as possible. And just let it sink straight down almost like you would do a texas rig or any other bait because when those it's falling those blades are spinning and that's sometimes when you'll get your reaction once it hits bottom i'm gonna start reeling back up and i just keep doing that in between each each one of these um, little sections right there guys just how I was telling you guys let's freaking go he crushed it too good bite my dude I'll take him all day let's go guys and go right back where he was bam 